do with it in a few uh, So first of all, we're going to talk about some relationships between angles uh, that are in the coordinate plane. But before we can do that, we need to establish um, our standard position. So you see this picture on your paper. Um, you need to label it. Um, we always start right here. This is always our initial side is on the positive x-axis. This is always where we are going to begin um, measuring our angles is on the positive x-axis. Okay, and we go counterclockwise for positive angles. Okay, we go counterclockwise for positive angles. Um, and the, you can see that definition there. Um, counterclockwise is our positive angles. Now, uh, we use theta, okay, the Greek letter theta to label our angles. Uh, that's usually the most common. Every once in a while they'll use X, or we can use pretty much any Greek letter. Uh, pretty much the only other one that I may use is alpha. It kind of looks like the little fish. Um, you may see beta which is a B with a really long tail on it, um, but usually I use theta, but I just want to throw that out there, okay? And uh, obviously this would be our terminal side. Okay, but the biggest thing you've got to know, we always, our standard position is that we begin on the positive x-axis we're talking about a negative angle, okay? Negative angles, we start in the same place, but we're going to rotate uh, counterclockwise, or excuse me, clockwise. Um, so this is the positive. Should have kept my colors going here. That's the positive. This would be the negative. <clears throat> now, I didn't tell you the measurement of this angle, but let's say it's approximately 135 degrees. That would be its positive measure. Its negative measure is negative 225 degrees. Okay, its negative measure is negative 225 degrees. Notice it's the same angle. It's just two different ways of looking at it. One's in the positive direction, one's in the negative direction. Just like it doesn't matter whether you call me Ms. Redmond or whether you call me Coach Red, I'm still the same person. It's just two different ways of identifying you. You can do the same thing with angles, positive and negative. All right? Um, so we call those coterminal angles. They have the same initial and terminal sides, but they have different measures. Most of the time, positive versus negative, but um, measure, angles can have measures greater than 360 degrees. So we could have also named this angle, uh, let's see here, I'm struggling with this right off the top of my head. If we added 360 to that, if we went around this uh, uh, axis once and then landed on our side, that would also be, what, 495? We could also call that angle uh, positive 495. That would be a coterminal angle here. Um, we could do the negative, we could call that negative um, 585. Okay, that's also the same angle as negative 585. Okay. Yes. It just means that we're going around, we're starting right here, and we're going all the way around, and then landing on our terminal side. So we went all the way around, 300. Those are coterminal angles. So let's look at um, finding coterminal angles here. Okay. So our first one is 350 degrees. We want to find two negative coterminal angles for that. So all we have to do is subtract 360 degrees. 
Okay. All we have to do is subtract 360 degrees. So the first negative coterminal angle would be negative 10 degrees. If we subtract 360 again, meaning we go, we rotate around another full rotation, then negative 370 degrees is another negative coterminal angle. You, you can keep going. Yeah, you can keep going. Um, there are an infinite number of coterminal angles. Okay, there are an infinite number of coterminal angles um, because we could also find positive coterminal angles for this. We could rotate uh, a full rotation in the positive direction and get a positive coterminal angle here. Okay? So the degrees are pretty easy. And I will remind you again, all three of those angles have the same terminal side. It just depends upon how many rotations we, we make. Okay? The radians I don't want to say they're more difficult. They're just a little tricky. Okay, they're just a little tricky. Um, so run, one rotation in terms of radians is how much? Two pi. Okay. So when we're trying to find negative coterminal angles for radians, we subtracted 360 for degrees. We're going to subtract two. However, you can't put the pi in your calculator because if you put the pi in your calculator, it's going to multiply it out and it's not going to give you give it back to you in nice neat form. So you drop the pi, you just do the 8 over 7, and you subtract 2. You're going to have to press math enter enter to turn it into a fraction, and then you put the pi back on it. So negative 6 pi over 7 is a coterminal angle for 8 pi over 7. I mean, you could... But you, ri you run the risk of messing up your conversion and then converting it back. Yes. Okay. So, yes, technically you could convert 8 pi over 7 to degrees and subtract 360. But if I start with radians, I want it in radians. So you'd have to convert it back. 2 pi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 2 comes from 2 pi being equivalent to 360 degrees. So if I want another one, I'm just going to subtract 2 again and make it a fraction and put the pi back on there. Okay? So when you're doing this, you just have to remember, drop the pi, subtract two, put the pi back in there. Okay? So to find uh, negative coterminal angles, you either subtract 360 if it's in degrees, or for radians, okay? Drop the pi, drop pi, subtract 2, put pi back in your answer. So when you're looking back at this and you're trying to figure out, well, how did I get negative 6 over 7, negative 6 pi over 7, you can see exactly what we did. Okay? Now, if we want to find positive coterminal angles, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to add. Okay? We're going to add 360 or we're going to add 2. Um, so the first one I gave you was in radians. I'm going to hurry up and do this. Okay? Add 2, turn it into a fraction. Add 2, turn it into a fraction since they wanted 2. Whoops. Okay? So pi over 3 is 1, 7 pi over 3 is another. Mm -hmm. yep. For the degrees, we've got 95 degrees. We also have 455 degrees. And so we drop the pi, add to put pi back in the answer, or for degrees, we just simply add 360 as many times as we need to. And that is all that we're going to have time for today. Um, on